Good afternoon. I'm Dave Percy at the National Weather Service with Alaska Statewide Weather. 987 millibar low moving northward along the western Alaska range. An associated front brought storm force winds along the southeast coast and Gulf of Alaska earlier today. Winds gusted to 70 miles per hour at Middleton Island while Cordova peaked out at around 60. East winds gusted over 70 miles per hour through Portage Valley and into Turnigan Arm. Rain and snow, occasionally heavy at times, fell along the western Prince William Sound area and Kenai Peninsula. Seward had over an inch and a half of rain during the day today and Homer over an inch. And since midnight, nearly five inches fell at Portage Valley. Otherwise, up along the Arctic coast, it was fair, but fog reduced visibilities to less than a mile at times at Barrow. For tonight, a dissipating front will move to the Alaska Range with uh, areas of light snow and scattered showers. Precipitation will become lighter and more intermittent along the North Gulf Coast and across South Central Alaska. A weakening front will bring a chance of rain and snow in across the central and eastern portions of the southeast coast with significantly lighter winds. Showers will continue over Kodiak Island and scattered snow showers associated with a 994 millibar low will persist over the southwest interior. And for Monday, another front will bring easterly winds, uh, gale force easterlies, to the western and central Aleutians with snow gradually mixing with rain toward Adak and Athka throughout the day. Look for isolated snow showers over the Pribilof Islands, and there'll be some scattered rain and snow showers along the Alaska Peninsula and eastern Aleutians. Rain and snow showers will continue along the North Gulf Coast and Northern Panhandle, but high pressure will make for partly and mostly sunny skies over the central and southern southeast coast. And for Tuesday, a strong frontal system pushing up toward the Alaska Peninsula, but staying well south of Kodiak Island will nevertheless produce gale force easterly winds with rain heavy at times across Kodiak Island with some light rain spreading northward to the southern and eastern Kenai Peninsula during the afternoon. Otherwise, it'll be mostly sunny over the southeast coast and partly to mostly sunny conditions will also be prevalent over the central and eastern interior with a few flurries over the northwest and no showers out in the Bering Sea. With Alaska Statewide Weather, I'm Dave Percy.